Good morning, afternoon, everyone. This is Ms. Ramirez with another math lesson. Uh, bienvenidos, buenas tardes, buenos días. Um, es la señora Ramirez aquí con matemáticas otra vez. So what we're going to do today is you are going to choose four crayons that are different colors, okay? So four crayons that are all different colors. And you are going to put them in order from tallest to shortest. So hopefully these are crayons that you've already used so that they are different sizes. So you want crayons that are different colors and you want them to be different sizes. You're going to put them in order from tallest to shortest. You are going to draw them in that order on a piece of paper. So first you're going to choose four crayons. You're going to put them in order from tall to short, and then you're going to draw them in that exact order from tall to short. Lo que van a hacer es van a escoger cuatro crayolas que son diferentes colores y diferentes tamaños si tienen. Dibújanlos en orden de tamaño alto a lo más pequeño y dibújanlos en su papel en ese orden. So van a tener tiempo para eso. Pon el video en pasa para que ten tienen tiempo para hacer eso. Voy a continuar. Put your video on pause so that you have time to choose your four crayons and draw them. I'm going to continue. So now, once you've already put your um, crayons in order from tallest to shortest, think about those words that you're using, tall and short, and what those words mean, okay? I am going to also link a short and tall video outside of this video on YouTube so that on your own time you can watch that one as well so you can get some more information on what tall means and what short means. Um, lo que vamos a hacer ahora es quiero que ustedes hablan sobre la palabra alto or tall y pequeño, short, and, and Quiero que ustedes hablan sobre esas dos palabras y qué quieren decir alto y pequeño. Um, y ahora lo que vamos a hacer es, usando papel y tijeras, dibuja seis gusanos que tienen diferentes tamaños. Son estos gusanos que ven aquí. Córtanlos y pegarlos en una hoja de papel de más pequeño a lo más alto. Ponle letras gusano A hasta F. Usa el dibujo para comparar los tamaños de los seis gusanos. Aquí tenemos un ejemplo. So van a dibujar los gusanos como quieras. Van a cortarlos en el papel y después pegarlos en una hoja de lo más pequeño a lo más alto. Cuando terminas, van a ponerle letras y los nombres de lo más chiquito van a ser A, B, C, D, E y F. Yendo a más pequeño, a más alto. Now what you're going to do is you're going to use paper and scissors. And you're going to draw six worms having different lengths. Okay? So you're going to draw six different worms, like my pink ones, um, that you are going to cut out. So you're going to draw them di all different sizes, and then you're going to cut them out. You're going to glue them on a piece of paper from the shortest worm to the longest worm. And then you're going to label them A through F. Okay, then using your worm picture, you're going to compare the worm lengths. So vamos a decir que el gusano F sería más largo del gusano C. O el gusano A es más pequeño del gusano D. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to compare. So we're going to look at this sentence here, this statement. Worm A is shorter than worm C. Gusano A is más pequeño que gusano C. Worm A is shorter than worm C. Good. That's one way that we can compare these worms. Let's look at the next statement. Worm F is blank worm D. El gusano F es que... A gusano D. Worm F is bigger, longer, or shorter than worm D. Well, when I look at worm F and when I look at worm D, I see that worm F is longer than worm D. 
or más largo. El gusano F es más largo que el gusano D. F is longer than D. Let's look at the next one. Worm B is blank than worm A. Worm B, so let's find worm B, is blank than worm A. Is worm B longer or shorter than A? Worm B is longer than worm A. So just like worm F, worm B is longer than or más largo que gusano A, worm A. Worm B is longer than worm A. Okay, let's look at the next one. Worm F. Worm F is the longest worm or the shortest worm? Is worm F the longest worm or the shortest worm? El gusano F es lo más largo o lo más chiquito, lo más pequeño de todos los gusanos. Lo más largo. Muy bien. So, it's the longest worm. So, worm F is the longest worm. Worm F is the, el gusano más grande. So, este gusano aquí es el más grande. Worm A, el gusano A, is the shortest or the longest worm. It is the shortest worm. Very good. Worm A is the shortest worm out of all of these worms. El gusano más pequeño. Even though your drawing, I'm sure, does not look exactly like my drawing on here, I know that since you put them in order from shortest to tallest, they should still be in that same order to where all of these sentences still make sense. Sé que eso, sus dibujos a lo mejor no parecen iguales a las mías, pero sí sé que porque ustedes lo pusieron en orden de lo más pequeño a lo más alto, todavía todas estas frases serían ciertos. So now, what we're going to do is we are going to color the object that is the longest. Now, I do not have something that I can use to color with. Um, on here on my slideshow. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put an arrow around the longest one. And what I want you to do is when I ask you, I want you to point to it. Okay, that's how we're going to do it. So I'm going to I'm going to use my pointer and you're going to point to it with your finger. Ahora vamos a mirar cuál objeto de estos cuatro. So este es uno, dos, tres y cuatro. De estos tres, cuáles es Lo más largo. Este, este, este. Lo más largo. Which one is the longest out of these three? Which one's the longest? Yes, that one is the longest. Very good. As you can see, it is longer than these other two. Comes out further. Let's look at the next one. Circle the object that is the longest. So when I look at these pencils, I see that all of these, I see that this middle one is the longest, right? So I want you to point to that one and say longest. Very good. Let's look at these crayons down here, number three. ¿Cuál es lo más largo? Which one is the longest? Well, I see that this one is the shortest. This one looks like middle. This one is the longest, so we're going to go ahead and point to that one. If you can, point with me. Great job. And then when I look at these rulers, I want you to point and tell me which ruler is the longest, the one that goes out the furthest.
Hmm. I think it's this one. No? What about this one? Yes, that does look like the longest one. Very good. Now we're going to do an exit ticket. So what you're going to do is you are going to color the words that tell about the baby. So here's the baby. And we have the words short, tall, big, small, and light. Now I want you to really think about all of these words. And if you think that the one of these words or some of these words relate to the baby, short, tall, big, small, and light, I want you on your paper to write down those words that describe the baby and send it to your teacher because that's your exit ticket for the day. That's how you get out of this lesson. You are going to write down those words that you see that relate to the baby and then you are going to send that picture to your teacher, okay? Ahora lo que vamos a hacer es vamos a mirar el bebé. Y cada palabra aquí que tenemos, vamos a escribir esa palabra si va con el bebé. Si es una palabra que podemos usar para describir el bebé, okay? Ahora lo que vamos a hacer cuando describe el bebé, um, aquí tenemos... Las palabras en español para que ustedes lo pueden saber también. So short quiere decir corto, tall, alto, big, grande, small, pequeño, light, ligero. So con esas palabras quiero que ustedes, por favor, si lo puedes escribir en español, inglés, pero queremos las palabras en inglés para que sus estudiantes ya saben esas palabras en inglés. Um, tomarle una foto o un video de ustedes haciendo esta um, tarea y mándaselo a su maestra o maestro, ¿ok? Que tenga buen día, muy bien. Very good job, boys and girls. I'll see you next time.